All right, now that we have got the lock screen customization on the Android 14 Beta 3 on Pixel phones, let's compare it to the already existing lock screen customization feature on Samsung Galaxy phones, which arrived on Android 13 itself on the One UI 5.0. Yes, we have seen this customization feature a year ago on Samsung Galaxy phones, and now the similar feature has been borrowed by Google for their Pixel phones. Let's go ahead and check out the differences and let's see who has executed it better. You let me know which one has better execution of lock screen customization, which one is more intuitive and easy to navigate to customize your lock screen drop a comment now let's go ahead uh, yes this is a huge phone i have got on the left hand side this is the galaxy s23 ultra running on one ui 5.1 based on android 13 and on the right i have got the pixel 6a which is running on android 14 beta 3 and we have got this brand new customization feature available on this phone now. Now to open the customization menu on the Samsung Galaxy phone, we need to just press and hold on the lock screen and just unlock the phone. It straight away gets into the lock screen customization menu. Whereas on the Pixel phones, you need to press and hold on the lock screen. You will see this customized lock screen pop up right here at the bottom, which will stay there for a couple of seconds. And you will have to instantly tap on that and unlock the phone to access the lock screen customization menu. This is how they look. Now on the Android 14, we have got both lock screen as well as home screen customization tabs right on the top. If you want to customize the home screen, you can tap on this and customize it right from here. Whereas on the Samsung Galaxy phone on the Android 13, we don't have the home screen customization access right from here. For that, you need to go to the home screen, press and hold on the home screen and tap on home screen customization option. Whereas on the Pixel phones, we have got both lock screen as well as home screen right here on the single page. Now here, let me tap on the clock on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. You can see we have got these font customizations. Uh, we can increase or decrease the size of this clock right here. And we have got about six clocks available here. And if you have installed good lock, you can access more clock faces through the lock star module. This good lock module enables us to customize these clocks further. We can go deep into customizing each and every elements on the clocks and set it on the lock screen. That's the best part about the Samsung Galaxy phones. Now let's just go back. At the bottom, we have got these color options to set the color for the clocks. Now here on the Pixel phone, we can just swipe the screen here to see all these clocks. We have got about nine clock options which look pretty cool, but I would have preferred some more clock options. Anyways, now tapping on this clock color and size will take us to the color customization and size customization menu for the clocks. As you can see, we can choose the color we want. We can increase or decrease the intensity of these colors. And when you tap on size, we can select the dynamic size where the clock size changes according to the lock screen content or small size, which will appear right here on the top. So this is the customization option we get on the Pixel phones. And right below that, we have got wallpaper options. Whereas on the Galaxy phones, we have got wallpaper options on the top left here. You can tap on that and we have got featured gallery, graphical colors, wallpaper services like a dynamic lock screen and Samsung Global Goals options are here. Whereas on the Pixel phones, when you tap on more wallpapers, you will get plenty of options as well. Now this is subjective, which kind of wallpapers you would prefer. Pixel has its own unique wallpaper sets here. Whereas on the Galaxy phones, apart from these wallpapers, we also have featured video wallpapers right here on top. And we can also tap on this three dot button on the top right to tap on this live wallpaper options. If you have installed any third party applications for live wallpapers, they will be available right here. That is just fantastic. Now let's go back. Uh, we have got shortcut options here on the Pixel phones on Android 14. Tapping on this will take us to this menu. We can customize the left shortcut or right shortcut. And we have got a bunch of shortcuts here, which are very few in number. We just have about eight shortcuts. We can set two shortcuts on the home screen here. Whereas on Galaxy phones, we can just tap on this icon here, which will take us to these default option, which does not require unlock to access these shortcuts on the lock screen. For example, if you set calculator, torch, or do not disturb, or Bixby options, or even voice recorder, you can just directly access them without even unlocking the phone. And apart from that, we can set any other application as shortcuts on the Galaxy phone, and you need to unlock the phone when you tap on the shortcut from the lock screen. This is again a very advanced feature we have got. We can select any applications from the phone to set it as a shortcut on the lock screen here. And of course, this can be customized further using the good lock modules. Then we've got this contact information option here on the Galaxy phone, whereas on the Pixel phones, we have got mode lock screen options. I can just tap on this to access all the lock screen settings or options here, which is also pretty useful. You can see we can access privacy. We can add text on the lock screen here like we saw on the Galaxy phone by tapping on contact information. You've got shortcut options here. Double line clock can be enabled. 
now playing always show time and info which is the AOD option which can be accessed right from the lock screen customization setup and a few other options can be accessed right here from the lock screen customization menu now apart from that we can tap on the home screen on the pixel phones to customize the home screen right from here which is a big advantage on the pixel phones like I mentioned earlier, we do not have the home screen customization option on the lock screen on the Galaxy phones. You will have to go back, unlock your phone, press and hold on the home screen and tap on wallpaper and style to access the lock screen as well as home screen customization, which requires additional steps. That is on the Samsung Galaxy phone. Apart from that, we do have further home screen customization on the Pixel phones. We can access themed icons here, and we can also access the app grid right here, which is nice to see. This is how the lock screen customization options on Android 14 compares with the Samsung's One UI 5's lock screen customization. Let me know what do you think, which one is better? Which one do you prefer to use? Do you think there is some improvement required on the Samsung Galaxy phones or on the Pixel Pixel phones, do drop a comment and share your thoughts. That's all I want to share with you guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find it useful. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.